Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. If you had a question, we're going to ask you. So when you pray to God, you got to actually be up front. You got to tell God what it is that's going on with you. And also, you got to repent of your sin. That's right. That's so that's up. One second, sis. One second, sis. The book of Psalms, chapter 62 and verse 8. Uh -huh. Bring it out. Trust in him all, the, all at all times. So we got to trust in the Lord at all times. Our people don't trust in the Lord. They trust in what? Motivational speakers. Right. right. Politicians. Right. Activist. No, you gotta trust in the Lord. You understand that? Read right Ye people, pour out, pour out your heart before Him. So when you're giving those prayers to the Lord, you gotta pour out your heart. I mean, what? Tell Him what it is that's troubling you. And also, you gotta confess your sin. That pour out your spirit. That ain't just, oh, I want, I want, I need, I need. No, you have to confess your sin, which is what you gotta touch on. Because all of y'all pray, or tried to pray, right? right? And you feel like God ain't hit you. I'm going to show you why he don't hit you. John 9. Straight out. God is not going to hear you if you're not doing what he tells you to do. That's right. That's the stipulation. Right. You don't Bring just go about it. I get what I want. Oh, God, I need this. God, I need that. You got to do what God says. And I'm going to tell you, if you ain't doing what this Bible says, God ain't hearing your prayer. Did y'all hear that, sir? Yes. If you don't do what God says, he will not hear your prayer. That's right. Read that. The book of John, chapter 9, verse 31. Bring it out. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. Oh, it says God heareth not sinners. We're going to find out what sin is in a minute. We know. But if any man be a worshiper of God uh -huh. and doeth his will, him be here. So that's the stipulation. Now we know that God hears not sinners. God does not hear sinners. But what does the Bible say about sin? Give me that. Read the the book. book of First John, chapter three, verse four. Read. Read it out. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. Uh -huh. For sin is the transgression of the law. Let's read it again. Now we're going to get some understanding. Read. Whosoever committeth sin. So the Bible says, whosoever committeth sin does what? Transgressive also the law. So when you sin, you break God's law. That's right. Bring it out. Sin ain't, I ain't help an old lady cross the street. That's not saying that. That's a bad thing to do or not to do. But sin is when you go against what God said. And that's sin. So like Cordelia said, fornication. Guess what? Boyfriend and girlfriend is sin. Teach. Smoking squares. Smoking weed. That's sin. Teach. is sin. Having multiple women is sin. Selling drugs is sin. Right. Getting tattoos is sin. All of these things that I'm telling y'all, that we telling y'all, I didn't know this. Somebody was teaching it. I saw it. I heard. I said, damn. Tattoos wrong. I'm not getting no more tattoos. Because it's about if you love God. That's what it boiled down to. So now we know what sin is. Let's go back to John now. Because we're talking about getting our prayers heard. Y'all want y'all prayers heard, right? That's yes. right. Especially yes. during this time. See, you want God to get your prayers right now, you cannot go against his rules. Read. The book of John, chapter 9, verse 31. Bring it up. Now we know that God hearing not sinners. God does not hear those of his people on this side that go against his rules and regulations. You break in his laws, your prayer don't go past the ceiling. So you must do what God says in order for him to hear you. Read that. But if any man 
be a worshiper of God. If any man be a worshiper of God, and what? And do of his will. Do of his will. His will is his laws, his commandments. If you do what God says, he'll hear you. Now let me ask y'all this. Things that's going on in the earth. Is it in the Bible? Yes. Right now. Yes, it is. The plagues, all that too, yeah. Okay, let me ask you this. They blocking certain ex entry and exit points in the earth. In Chicago alone, they block like seven, eight exits on the expressway. They block in the attitude. They block in the attitude. Is that in the body? Second entrance 15 and 17. Bring it out. I'm showing y'all this because y'all have to understand the times that y'all are living in. It is dangerous. It is chaos. Why? We are living in the last days. That's right. That's it's right. It's time for you to come back to God and do what God says. That's right. You want to be kept safe during all yeah. this chaos? No. You must come back, back to God. Do what God says. I'm not showing you this for no reason. I'm showing you what's going on is in the Bible. Yeah. Everything that's written in here, it either happened already or hasn't happened yet. Understand that. Read. Second entrance, chapter 15, verse 17. Read. Bring it out. A man shall desire to go into a city. Have not people been desiring to go into cities? My auntie in Florida, I want to go to Florida. Guess what? You can't go there. That's right. Matter of fact, it's a curfew. Yep. It's a curfew here, ain't it? Yeah. It's a curfew in Chicago. I want to go to Indiana. That's blocked off. You got to go to Chicago, you trying to go to downtown, that's blocked off. They got semi trucks blocked. Yeah. They put garbage cans, they put garbage cans, they stuff. Read that again. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. So if this thing here that was written thousands of years ago, we just read it and it's happening now. What makes you think the rest of what's written here is not going to happen? The Bible says this place here, known as Babylon the Great, is going to get destroyed by yes. fire. Yes. We just read something that a man saw. God showed him a vision. It didn't happen during his time, but it happened during our time. And why are we showing you this? This is not the time for games. You must repent and change your way. That's right. Let me show y'all something. Give me action. Let me show y'all something. Bust your pen and change your way. Bring it out. And we're going to show y'all the laws of God that you're breaking right now. Why? That's our job. We care about our God's laws. When you break God's laws, it's a punishment behind it. That's right. Yes, it is. It's a famous scripture in the church that they quote. I'm going to start with Nicky. What they say in church? What's the punishment for sin? What's the scripture? What they say? They quote it all the time. The wages of sin is death. That's a true thing. If you don't keep God's laws, the punishment is death. So that's why we come here to Milwaukee. We ain't out here to be seen. We out here for our people. That's right. We must come back to God and repent. It's yes. not a game. You're right. People got shot when all that looting was going on. Oh, yeah. People got killed when all of that looting was going on. That's right. Children were missing when all of that looting was going on. See? So it's not the time to play. Don't run the politics. Don't run the religion. Come back to God. That's what read that. The book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. Bring it out. Repent ye therefore and be converted. Read it again. Repent. He therefore and be converted. God is telling us what? Change. Change our ways. You gotta change your ways. Right. Your ways are going against his ways. Yes. That's why you're not having success. That's why it's always friction in your life. Right. You're going against what he says. Right. And if you continue to go against what he says, death awaits you. It's not hard to understand. That's right. I do what he say and I live. I do what he say and I rule the earth. I don't do what he says, death awaits me. Run out. Read. Right. Repent, ye therefore, and be converted. And be what? Converted. Change. Convert to what? What are you converting to? His way. Yes. And his way of life. Yes. What he has written for you. Yes. Read. That your sins may be blotted out. Who won't forgive us for their sins? All of y'all standing yes. right here, even yes. us right here, we want yes. forgiveness for our sins. That's right. So we must change our ways. We must repent and ask God to forgive us. Times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. In times of refreshing, meaning what? 
This earth got to be cleansed. There's too much evil in this earth. Laws they pass. Two women get married. Bring it two up. Men get married. That goes directly against the life. Legalize the marijuana. Why they want to legalize marijuana? To keep our people out. Yeah. 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 You know something else they doing to the mix? Bring it they out. have blacks and Hispanics fighting each other. Bring it out! And that's sad. We are the people of God. Come close, sis. We out here for you. You see yourself on that side? That's right. Teach. Let's get, get back to something. After that, we gotta get some law. What's the question, sis? Um, Jesus Christ. We gotta wear a mask. Yeah. 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 Oh, he's why we in the last days like I just told you that's right. it's yeah. not back coincidence think yeah. about this you have a disease that's in the earth yeah. killing millions of people yeah you had think about this y'all never seen this in y'all years on the earth you have a disease going on rampant through the earth and right it was now riding and looting in every state in this country at yeah. one time yeah. I'm trying to warn y'all that's why we out here we're warning you this yeah. is not the time to play. No, it ain't. You want to survive? Do yes. what God says. Yes. Read that. Second Thessalonians chapter one verse six. Bring it out. See, it is a Bring righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you, oh, and to you who are troubled, Let rest go, with no. us. When the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angel in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God. In flaming fire, taking vengeance on them. Verse 7. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. We are telling you what? Rest with us. Come keep the commandments of God. Okay. Leave that way of life alone. Oh, change your life. Yeah. You live. Ain't man. nobody that gonna come save our okay. community. Okay. We gotta stand up for our community. The politicians, okay. the reverends, the motivational speakers, okay. they gotta stand up. Once y'all stand up, the women gonna get in order. Read. When the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God. When the Lord Jesus from heaven with his mighty angels Christ come back, he is coming to When you pray the Lord's prayer, like Jesus comes out of what you've done, yeah. that's destruction. Yeah. You said you want God's kingdom yeah. on top, yeah. and this one's at the bottom. That's yeah. good. Yeah. That's what you said when you pray that prayer. Yeah. Read. In flaming fire, uh -huh. taking vengeance on them that know not God. What is that yeah. saying? Our people that refuse to do what God says, they yeah. will die. They will get death and destruction if they do not do what God says. Now, we talked about sin, we talked about the law. Now we got to get some law. Give me John 14 and 15. I'm going here because we always say we love God until the laws of God come out. So I'm going to go down the line and I'm going to ask you a question. Do you love God? Do you love God, Jason? Do you love God, Dave? Do you love God, Cornelius? We are going to see. Read that. The book of John, chapter 14, verse 15. Bring it out. You black and Hispanic in Milwaukee. If you love God, this is what you should be doing. Read. If ye love me, keep my commandments. So Christ said, if you love him, you're going to do what he said. So let's get the law. Leviticus 19. 
Matter of fact, 21 and 5. You're 21 and 5. We're going to start with the men and my sister. You may have seen while we talking, I keep going back to them. Right. Because God deal with the man right. first. Right. These are the leaders of your right. nation. That's right. right. Yeah. You got to learn to respect <laughs> the men. I, I so, brother, this is a law for you. And then I'm going to get to you and the sister because it's laws for the woman. Right. Read that. The book of Leviticus, chapter 21, verse 5. Bring it up. They shall not make bonus upon their head. Uh -huh. Neither shall they shave off. The corner of their beard. Read it again from the top. They shall not make bonus upon their head. What is that saying? The Israelite man, the man on this side, we cannot shave our head bald like Michael Jordan. And we don't get to that. We don't get to that. We don't get to that. I'm going to bear with you. We cannot shave our head bald like Michael Jordan. Right. Why? That's not our custom. Right. That is the custom of the right. other races of people. You write about when you that. read about the Egyptians, like, I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to that. If I know why you feel that way, I'm with you, bro. I'm going to get to that. Read. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. We're supposed to grow a beard on our face. That's right. Every man you see up here, we grow what we can grow on our face. Why? Because that's a law of God, a rule of God. That's right. What's the first thing they want you to do to serve God? Shave your beard. When you shave your beard, you look like a little boy. That's what the beard is. You a lion. You a lion shave off his man when he rip his man off. No. no. You should not shave your beard. Why? Because your God requires that of you. Yeah. Read. No make any cuttings in their flesh. What's the cutting in the flesh? No make any cuttings in their flesh. What's that? Tattoo. And brothers, I'm not bringing this out to try to have us on some pedestal and y'all at the bottom. No. We read the same thing and we stopped. Yes, Brothers up here today, we got that tool, you didn't get no more. Why? Right. Remember the first person we went to. If you love me, you what? Be my command. Yes. So if you love God, the laws that you have coming out, you're going to do it because you love God. You're not going to try to please man. You're going to try to please God. Right. right. Read that one more time. They shall not make bonus upon their head. Uh -huh. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Uh -huh. Nor make any cutting in their flesh. You cannot get tattooed according to the Bible. Everybody had to Guess what else falls under that? If you scar yourself for a day, if you branded yourself for a fraternity, that's against God. You break the God's rules and you do that. Yes. So we as the Israelites, being a special yes, people Lord. that we are, we cannot do that. We can't be like the other way. When they get to the woman, sisters, my sisters, my sisters, God has rules and regulations. This law we finna read and go for the man too. Read yeah. that. Yep, Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Do y'all think God cares how you dress? You say yes, you say no. Why you say no? You think it don't matter. It ain't that serious, right? That's not what the Bible said. That's right. That's what God said. Now understand. I'm showing you this because we haven't been taught this. That's right. We're teaching our people the truth. That's right. Think about it. In church, they tell you God loves everybody. But then when you read the Bible, the Bible don't say it. Right. They say God hates the sin, not the sinner. That's not in the Bible. Right. God says if you sin against me, you will get death. That's right. So what are they doing? They lead our people to death. Bring it out. We try to lead our people to life. They lead our people to death. Teach. So we're showing you. Everything that you've learned in this society is contrary to God, and that's yeah. why we suffer. Read that. Yeah. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, and verse 5. Read it out. A woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Uh -huh. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Uh -huh. For all that do so 
are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. Let's read it again from the top. Because remember, you said, I don't, you don't think God cares about the name of the Read. The, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What does that mean, my brother? What's going on? What's your name? Mac. Mac. I'm Hayes. So the Bible just said, God said, the woman shall not wear things that pertain to a man. What does that say? Um, they shouldn't wear pants. I don't know, pants or dress like a man. There you go. That's right. You absolutely right. So our sisters that's wearing pants, what are they doing? According to what we just read. They sinning. They sinning. Guess what? Women cannot wear pants. That's, that's right. It's God's yeah, laws. Right. Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. A woman is not supposed to wear men's attire. What they did today, they caused confusion. They say all these women pants. They still pants. What if they came out with a man bra? Ain't that a bra? You finna laugh. That don't make sense. What the hell is a man bra? Same thing. Women pants don't on, make brother. sense. What happened is over time they made you be used to it. That's right. Just like two men being together that ain't right. Two Bring women being together that's not right. But what did they do? They kept shoving it in your face over time. So now you start to accept it. Even though deep down brothers know it ain't right, you just start to accept it. That's called desensitizing. Right. Just like we kill each other so much when one of us get killed on the block, Ooh, yeah. we fight, cry, but yeah. then we go back to our regular routine. That's, yes. what, that's what they've done to us right. in this country. Right. Read on. The woman shall not wear that which pertains yeah. to a man. So the black, Hispanic, and Native American woman cannot wear clothing that pertain to men. Pertain men belong to cannot wear clothing that belong to men. What are y'all talking about? Pants. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Uh oh. Read that again. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. We got the first understanding of the scripture. So when we get right here, what is that saying? Let's just start with me. You shouldn't see no man with Cordelia dress on at all. But you seeing that you got rappers wearing skirts. You know what they do with the rappers? Oh, yeah. They have them wear it so you think it's cool. And then you go to the store and you buy it, you like, oh, I'm me, I'm doing me. No, you're not, it's not cool. cool. Yeah. It's not you're cool. following what you see. That's confusing. You know what that's an easy term they call that? Cross dress. Think about that. You see the brother six foot five and he walked down the street with some pumps on. That's not how a man is built. Same thing if you see a sister walk down the street with a man and she's sad. I'm like, what the hell? That's out of order. The woman is supposed to dress modestly. That's right. Feminine. You supposed to dress masculine and strong. That's right. That's why we wear these. These are called garments. Our forefathers wore these. Our forefathers wasn't wearing dresses and skirts. They dressed manly and strong. That's what we teach in our people. We got to come back to our culture. Now I don't want to leave it. Go back to Deuteronomy 23. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, and verse 5. Bring it out. The woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abominations unto the Lord thy God.
Right. right. We broke God's love and we got put into slavery. This is all for the disobedience of God. Guess what? The Hispanic, same thing. Put in slavery for what? The disobedience of God. Disobeying God, you got punished. You know what this is? You can compare this to a woman. You might say, damn, yeah, this is the okay. But that's how God is. God don't play. Read that. The book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 15 and verse 13. Bring it out. The Lord hated all abominations. Read it again. The Lord hated all abominations. God hates all abominations. All unclean. That's right. All evil. Cross dressing is evil. A man in a dress is evil. A woman in pants is evil. Give me Zephaniah 1 and 8. Now we're going to see how serious it is. Because we got to stop with the Christianity starting our mind. When you talk to our people, they regurgitate everything they learned in church, That's right. school, or TV. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And all that does is destroy us. That's all it does. Read the book of Zephaniah, chapter 1 and verse 8. Bring it out. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice uh -huh. that I will punish the princes and the king's children uh -huh. and all such that are clothed with strange apparel. Read it again. And all such that are clothed with strange apparel. Read it again from the top. And it shall come to pass. So in the future, this is future tense. This is a prophecy. The prophet said something and it ain't happened yet. But this will happen if you partake in it. Read. In the day of the Lord's sacrifice. Uh -huh. this, in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. That's right. That's the day of judgment that you hear about in church. Judgment day, when Christ returns. Read. That I will punish the princes and the king's children. Who is the princes and king's children? You. Your right. forefathers and foremothers were royal. Yes. Yeah, right. the earth. Yes. Yeah. You know something crazy? We pay the other nations taxes now. They used to pay us taxes back then. Teach. What happened? The Lord turned the tables because he was disobedient. Right. And read. And all such as are clothed with strange apparel. Meaning what? Hey, you got a flyer, bro? Get in contact with us. All right, bro. So, it said what? And all such as are clothed with strange apparel. God is going to put to death his people that's on his side that's the most dressed. So, the way you dress is very important. If you trust in unemployment with what he said, it's death and destruction when you do that. Read. And that you see, not after your own heart and your own eyes, after which you used to go a heart. So, being that this is the Sabbath, you got your fridges on, say your brother ride past in the fight like, hey, I got it. I got hats, I got socks. You trying to say I got to stop. Look down at your fridge. Man, I can't Somebody called like, hey, I got to get on the expedition. Excuse me. Hey, come grab it today. Hey, I can't buy it today, bro. It's the Sabbath. Looking down at your clothes, you see your fringes. The fringes represent right man. the street. Stand right there. That's why you wear the fringes to keep you in check. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth